A recent study found that genetics can really influence an autistic person's reactions to things like sights and sounds and sensory cues, especially when we're talking about young children. In today's HealthCast, we look at a new approach to helping autistic kids feel safe in new and strange environments. As the mother of a child with autism, Kathy Rodriguez knows new settings can be challenging. He was in his typical OT therapy, physical therapy, everything, but I wanted to see what I can do as a parent. Kathy combined her personal experience with her professional background in retail floor set displays to first help her son, then other children on the spectrum with safe space staging for kids. Currently, I have the medical exam set up, the dental exam set up, and the hairdressing set up, the hair salon. The reason I have those three, because those three are the most triggering ones. You're scared, yeah because you've never been to the dentist before. Instead of parents bringing their child to a specific location, Kathy takes her sets to individual homes, therapy centers, and indoor playgrounds like Explorico in Cooper City. There's a key reason why she designed it this way. The child needs to know it is not real. Because if we do it, if we had our own center and the child comes to us, they don't know the difference between make-believe and real. They see a, someone dressed like this, that must be a dentist, as if it's in the building. But if we're doing it at their home and it's their mom, that themselves you remove a layer of them being scared. And the work doesn't end when Kathy packs up her sets and leaves. Parents need to continue to practice and role play with their child. So when the, the staging is not in their home anymore, the parent is still part of the experience of doing teeth serve, so brushing the hair, be really in, involved with a child. And now according to the latest figures from the CDC, approximately one out of every 36 children in the U.S. is diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder and boys are four times more likely to be diagnosed than girls.